Hello everybody, and welcome back to the shop for 10 more action-packed minutes of Thunder Chief building action. It's getting exciting here, folks. I'm packing clay. <laughs> How more exciting can you get on a Friday evening? Sitting down watching tops, packing this clay in here. <laughs> I got it done though. Wanted to make you a quick video and let you know what's up. So basically, what we got to do here is uh, pack as much clay as you can get in that crack. Take my spreader, the flat end, the fat end of my spreader there. Kind of pack it in there with that. Your fingers push it up. And I'll have this all ready to mold in the morning. Got it waxed up. And uh, morning I'll start cleaning some resin. Hopefully. Uh, I might be able to get this whole thing done tomorrow. Be nice and hot. I bet that resin sets up quick. Hope so. No, I'll probably do one side tomorrow, one side Sunday. Um, kind of depends on how fast that red is such a couple seen on market associated industries today. Picked up some resin. He's a pretty good old boy. He's getting a lot of them YouTube fans calling me. <laughs> One resin. That's fine, bring it on. He's got cloth, people, he's got different, all different weights of cloth, he's got resin. He's got a good price to it, man. Best price on the internet. You won't find it any cheaper. That's guaranteed. Well, I like to pack this as much clay in there as I can get, man. Can't be skimpy on the clay either. It's better you get that clay packed, the better your, uh, my, my joint will end up. Push it up like that. Just work it down in there. It's gotta work it, baby. I'm going to take just a single edge razor blade in one of these holders. You've got to hold it to where that blade stays flat. You cut that clay right off of there. That way you get it nice and smooth and even. did this once but it kind of shrunk in a couple places I wanted to make y'all a video anyway
I know y'all need your Bob TV, man. Trying to hook y'all up with some Bob TV. What's that clay down in there? I think it kind of comes down on the, on the part like so. So when you trim it, it'll come off. You know, you don't have to sit there and mess with it to get it off. See, you can go like that. Push it in there. Then take your spreader and come off your part a little bit. That way when you run your razor blade along it, it comes off, you know. You don't want to have to sit there and get work at getting that excess off because that messes up the clay you got in there already. This is pretty important. If you, don't, if you got gaps and cracks, resin will run down in there. And then you'll have a, your lip on your parting plane won't be smooth. You know? I'll show you when we pull them off. Some clay I've already used before. We're going to use this stuff. Push it down in that crack, man. clean it off that edge. Okay, see how it just got caked up there messy now. I'm going to take the corner of my spreader, the fat corner, I'm going to come down and clean it off the wing a little bit. Just a little bit right here you, you got to be more concerned about. Put all the excess off there you can. I'll take my rag and clean it up on my thumb. And this is the biggie too. If you hold that blade too much, not enough at an angle, it'll actually dig a curve. So you kind of, kind of want to hold it out a little bit, like so. Where it trims it nice and flat. Where a nice flat edge. You know what I mean? Then I just take it. Paper towel, clean off this edge. We've already got this waxed up. Clean that edge off there. Just a little bit of a curve. You gotta kind of be careful not to get into your clay. Here we go, people. I'll be back tomorrow morning and we'll get this side laid up. So we'll see you back in the shop. Same Bob time. Same Bob station.